Last weekend, PlayStation players got a chance to play Resident Evil Village demo, and this demo was in the village area. Sadly, in the whole demo, there was no signs of Lady Dimitrescu. So sadly, there is gonna be no masturbation. But there is a lot to see in this demo, so here are the biggest takeaways from Resident Evil Village demo. Visually, the game looks a lot better as compared to Resident Evil 7. Now, Resident Evil 7 was inside a house most of the time and only a few times is when we stepped outside the house. But this time around, we are outside and it feels fresh, gives a new perspective, but most importantly, keeps you scared. Even outside, you feel the sense of someone is with you or walking alongside you with some ambient noise here and there that I loved so much. Especially in the moment where we were in the tall grass, you do know there's someone there but you just don't know where they are. Overall, it actually felt like I'm walking to this new village all alone and I'm very much scared because there's some sounds happening and this crazy old woman just laughed at me. Crafting in this game has got even better. Yes, we do have an inventory slot which not only looks good but also feels good to use it. We now have different tabs for different needs. One tab shows you what items you have and the other will show crafting. In the demo, I picked up some herbs and going to the crafting tab, it made crafting so much more easier with just a press of a button. You can craft the item you want and it also tells you how much herbs you need to make a med kit and so on. I believe as you find more items, you'll find more things that you can craft. You also have key items as another tab that shows you the most important items that you will be using at a later stage at some puzzle, in this case it was the door to the castle. I like how they divided it and made it much more simpler for anyone to use. Well the thing is I got the chem fluid which happened in the very early part of the demo and I was very happy about it but later on I fought these monsters and I then pressed some button on playstation and then I saw Ethan just throwing some water in his hand. So I was like I was confused what's going on then I realized oh shit. And it was already too late, so yeah, I, I I wasted it. The monsters in this game, at least in this demo, were smarter. We saw them hiding in the tall grass. Well, where else will you hide with these beastie bodies you got? In this way, you get to know where they are. I mean, they literally gave it away with all the grunting, but you just don't know where they are exactly. Again, you need to shoot a lot to take them down. Since I was using a PS4 controller, I could not aim. But these monsters are different because they have finally learned the art of picking sharp objects and they will hit you with that. Looks like going ahead, they will be a bit smarter on how to show themselves to you. It will be a little bit of a boo and then you will just try to shoot them and lose all your bullets. Well of course there were more things in the game for example collecting some collectibles and also meeting these people who are survivors of this place. They are surviving and they are normal people and I saw one lady, I met that girl and I had a crush on her, I was ready to bang her in the bed but then the whole house got burned so I missed the opportunity there. But it's really cool to see that there are people who are actually surviving normal human beings although things turned out differently but still it's great to see them and they have some really really cool facial animations, I love that. Well actually I was supposed to record a gameplay video but I did a stupid mistake of not saving the recording. So yes, that happened. But don't worry, next weekend we're gonna have another demo and that is gonna be inside the castle in PlayStation 4. So don't worry, I will not make a mistake there. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, leave a like, help this video reach 20 likes so that I can make a Let's Play series of Resident Evil Village when it comes out on May 7th. And also, do not forget to subscribe because more news just like this and more gameplay videos, especially Resident Evil 7, sorry 8, is coming out pretty soon. So, subscribe right now. And also check out some of the previous videos with game news and much more.